hello you guys and thank you all for tuning in to Chris Codes. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button because you know you want to and it's free. Notification bell so you're notified whenever I drop new content. Comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into the video. you guys so we're back at it again with another video like i promised i have a foolishness friday for you all i have this clip that we're going to be reacting to it's short and sweet but it's just like you know when they say a picture here is a thousand words well this video i could go on for days but i won't because <laughs> i got a more, i got some stuff to do after this i need to be redoing my braids there's a lot i have to do okay but i promise and i deliver so let's go ahead and get into this clip i'm not even gonna um go into it until after we watch this clip because it's so short but let's get into it one go just met him so you're just gonna sit on your phone yeah, you're gonna get up and start running. First red flag. Why do I have to walk? Like, I mean, you look close enough to walk. But you joke here, so I don't get why I'm walking home all the time. I don't get that. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you know, you don't want to come back to my place, so there's no point in me wasting gas. What? So, I mean, I feel like I don't want to go to your place because I don't know you well enough. And it's just like my first time meeting. Like, does that not make sense to you? I don't get it. I mean, we spent the whole day together. I'm obviously attracted to you. You know, I don't see a place where you can either come back to my place or walk. Ew! <laughs> okay, so that's the clip, you guys. So. As you all can see, because I'm sure I'm going to put the video somewhere here so you're watching it with me. Like, as we're watching this, right, on the top of the video, it says... Sorry, I'm pulling it up again because I just I couldn't even believe what I was watching. <laughs> but at the top of the video, it says, pay for my own meal. I, that alone, I'm just like, excuse me, why did I come? First of all, let's talk about that first. She said, paid for my own meal. Why? 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 I can pay for my own meal alone. What do I need your company for? Like, I don't, a lot of men, well, not a lot of men, some men, they think, oh, you know, you all want equal rights so bad, but they love to use that excuse. Those guys that, you know, spend their nights watching TV, like, like YouTube videos or YouTubers like Kevin Samuels, you know, may he rest in peace. But that's those type of guys, those red pill guys, like, yawn you know <laughs> yawn but yeah so those type of guys they feel like if you want to be this you want to be that then you can pay for your own meal and you can do this and you can do yeah i know i can pay for my own meal but if you ask me out or you ask me to dinner and i say yes then you should be paying for my meal. It'll be different if i if i asked you hey you know let's go out to eat which i would never <laughs> Not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> I would never do that. But still, if you ask me to go out, then you should be paying for my meal. Simple. But in an alternative universe, you know what I'm saying? If I asked you to go out, which would never in your never in life happen, I still expect you to pay for my meal. That's just me because in in all honesty, I have no reason to be around you if you don't have the basic home trainings of paying for my meal if we're together like call it call it a call me a gold digger or whatever whatever they call it nowadays but i'm old-fashioned i'm a southern male like you're not gonna take me out and think you're not gonna pay for my meal ill i have my own money yes i pay my own bills yes but that means I don't need you, right? Right. So why would I go anywhere with you? 
That's what I don't understand. That's th this is what I don't understand about their thought process. They they're so big on oh well, you know, you can pay for this, you can pay for that, but then what what do I need you for? Why are you around? And I think or they might put it put it on sex or something like something like that or something sexual, but most women can go a long time a long time without it okay it's the men <laughs> most women if you ask most women how long they've gone without you know you'd be shocked by the answer at least the women i know a lot of women i know me personally too so trust me like we're good you know so if i'm going out with you it needs to be you you need to be providing something Men are supposed to be the providers. Now, the, these days, they don't want they don't want to do that. Well, you find them girls that's okay with you not doing that. You want an independent woman, you 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 do that. You know, <laughs> you go get that. But if you're gonna be with me, you're gonna be a man around here. <laughs> you're gonna be a man, okay? I'm gonna need a man. I know that's right. <laughs> not a little boy. Not not. Oh, we going fifty fifty? No no anyways anyways next boy if you don't get <laughs> next now let me continue let me continue so she said pay for my own meal first red flag i would have been i would have went home immediately immediately then she said slid him gas So, not only did she pay for her own meal, but she gave him gas money. It's sad. What is this world coming to? You just met this man. So, this is the first date. This is the first date. And not only did you pay for your own meal, but you gave him gas money. So I'm assuming you gave him gas money before. Like, so you gave him gas money prior to you paying for your own meal. Y'all going anywhere. So at at this point in time, I bl I'm blaming you. Now, you're, you're still a victim in this because this don't make no sense. But it's it's giving pick me okay it's it's giving you know i want him to think i don't want him for his money or i want him to think you know i'm an independent woman and blah blah, blah. who cares what he thinks who cares what he thinks you're setting the wrong tone like with me i'm gonna say i'm gonna set the tone okay you you want to be with me you need to know what that entails and i'm gonna let you know <laughs> up front okay it doesn't entail me giving you gas money especially not when we're in a committed relationship when we're, especially not when we're just you know meeting each other maybe when we're in a committed relationship and oh i'm like oh i'll take i'm driving your car today or something like that yeah i'll fill it up that's just common courtesy if you're driving somebody's car you'll fill it up you know stuff like that but in a committed relationship there's different is it's a different tone you know it's different things that are done but if we're dating you're courting me i'm not giving you gas money because that means we're not equally yoked because i'm not asking you for gas money okay i would i'm not asking you for anything I expect it <laughs> it's a difference it's a difference like they want an independent woman yeah I'm independently letting you know that it's not happening I'm not I'm not going nowhere with you where you think we're splitting the bill I'll eat alone I'm not going anywhere with you I'm not getting first of all on, on the first few days I don't even I don't even have you pick me up because I like the I like to be able to move how I want to move. So if it's time to go, I'm ready to go. I can go, okay? See, like, that's what happened when you were a little too young. She'd probably see, I can gauge. She might be like 19, 20 maybe. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Like, because when you hit like 20, 22, 23, maybe I'll give 24. When you hit 24, you ain't going for that. Most, mo like, most of them, you're not... You're not going for that. 
women that have like matured enough you got some of them or like i said this is giving me it's pick me vibes it's giving me pick me vibes and they want to prove something but i have nothing to prove to you if you think that you can't pay for my meal or you think you can i'll let this stuff slide trust me it's another one knocking right after you that'll do more than you that'll go above and beyond you're not one of a kind <laughs> you're not special <laughs> that's what's funny like it's funny it's just like oh well i don't i'm not messing with this girl because she you know she think we, we're supposed to do this we're supposed to do that i don't think i know and it's men that will so if you won't kick rocks simple simple let's continue because i ain't gonna be here all day like i said i can talk about this all day but i won't <laughs> so let's continue so then she says slid him gas so let me start off she said pay for my own meal slid him gas and this is how the date ended so let's get into how the date ended this man basically so he so it's a pretty girl it's a pretty girl i'm gonna see if i can find a picture of her insert in insert it into this video but it's a pretty girl and he's like obviously i'm attracted to you we spent the whole day together blah 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 blah. and now you expect me to go to your house so not only do you do you think i owe you something but i slid you gas money and you can't even take me home sweetie you wouldn't be able to go home if i didn't give you gas money i'd be like oh run it back give me my money <laughs> I'm like, give me my money back. But I would never be in this situation. So there's that. But it's just like, but like I said, I'm grown now. Like I certain things just I would not fly. But this is why, like, you have to know your worth. Cause if guys see that you're pretty and you somewhat got it together, but you're given desperate or you're given pick me. They gonna pick you okay <laughs> and they gonna run all over you use you up and then you get these girls that you know are like men haters you know or just downright rude and nasty or treat you any type of way or they just got issues like serious issues and you wonder why they act the way they act because they've been used and abused she didn't she didn't deserve that because let's take all the craziness aside this girl gave paid paid for his gas for them to go around and do whatever paid for her own meal and he still treated her like that why would she go to his house dude the last girl on the news the black girl on the news met a guy off bumble or whatever and ended up dead why would she go to his house and it's like his house you can't afford gas money but you got a house i don't believe that but anyways anyways but this is my that's my thing it's just like do you see how he treated her and then you wonder why these women start to date up they want to date up you know like and then you talk about talk about black women then oh you know they they say they, they won't date a guy that doesn't make six figures or they won't date a guy that didn't and like yeah because this is what you get when you when you don't when you don't date up that's what you get you get joe schmo that expects you to go to his house after one date that you pay for so tell me why would i entertain you or even be let you be in my space when i could go wherever on my own dime i can go out to eat with friends i can go out to eat with family what makes you special it's other fish in the sea and that's my thing it's just like these guys it's so crazy how they think that we supposed to be go 50 50 with them we supposed to do this with them and and then if we don't or we feel like we deserve more we're to we're to blame we're the problem you see how backwards that is that's crazy like our 
expectation should be low but all it gives me is manipulation that's what it gives me like oh you want more for yourself oh you want you want a guy to pay for your pay your bills you want a guy to do this for you you want a guy to, you're not good enough for that you know guys that want to play with your mind and make you feel like you're not worthy that's what it gives me it's toxic it's ex extremely toxic and that's why so many people have problems with the youtubers like kevin samuels because it basically pushes these guys on a pet put these guys you put these guys on a pedestal and then other guys around think it's okay to act like that to think it's okay to be little women and make them feel less than and it's not it's not okay but that's the thing we got to know in our in ourself that we're better than that and we deserve more than that and i learned that long time ago that i wasn't going to be putting up with it you know what i'm saying like now granted i never really had a boyfriend that would just treat me in type of way <laughs> you know and i can and i can say that because I've had exes, even even relationships that didn't end on the best terms, but I can still look back on the relationship and know they didn't treat me like, you know, anything, you know, just like, just like trash, like, no, no, you gotta have some form of dignity, you know, some, some form of respect and it gives like a little insecure and it's sad, it's sad. So it's like until these, these young ladies, figure out you know that they deserve better and it just want better they gotta want better and realize that it's okay to be by yourself until you get better you don't have to go searching for it. you don't have to go looking for it. it'll it come to you but until then you gotta kick them the the dusties to the side you gotta leave them where they are because th that comp that's that's not good company it's not good company now, I'm not even going to go too much into this. We probably we already like 15, 16 minutes in. So, yeah. You all tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know if I'm too harsh. Whatever. Let me know. But somebody had to say it. That's crazy. That's crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Because you know you want to. And it's free. Notification bell so you're notified whenever I drop new content. Comment. Subscribe. And yeah. I'll see you all for the next video. Bye. Time.